It's so scary. I'm trying to redo my light so you can't really see the reflection, so I'm trying to move it around. But Penelope is just like right here and the first time I've decided to light my candle and she just wants to get near it and I'm so afraid that she's gonna catch herself on fire. It smells like you already did. You burnt your hair right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Penel. She singed her fur. Oh my god, it's not even that bad. You can't really tell, but you can kind of smell it. She got way too close to the flame. Well, hopefully now she's just gonna go up on the bed and won't come back down. But Nelly, how do you not smell that? That's burnt hair. <sighs> And you know, I'm like, I should burn these candles now because once I have the baby, I'm probably not going to be able to really burn candles. It's going to not be safe. And it's already not safe because already my cats are being bad. <sighs> anyway, let's try to fix this light so that you can't really see the reflection. You can still see the ring light a little bit, but it's just, it's so cloudy today that normally the reflection only comes like much later at night, but it's super cloudy today in San Diego. So it is what it is. Okay, let's get this party started. Hello, all my beautiful friends. How are you all today? I hope you all are having a wonderful day. My name is Heather, and today we are going to talk more about my pregnancy. I'm going to show you a few products that I'm loving, a few things that I've been eating and absolutely craving, cannot live without, and just overall how it's all going. So let's first get started with a couple of the products that I'm loving right now. I got this belly oil which is by Hatch Mama. I saved the box here. It says that it's a quick dry botanical oil that intensely hydrates and reduces the appearance of stretch marks and scars. It's baby safe and created with mamas to be in mind. It supports skin as it stretches during pregnancy and beyond and provides nutrient rich moisture without greasy feel. This is how you wear your vitamins. Really love it. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below. I actually had a friend send this to me in the mail. She just had her beautiful baby and she said that this really helped her out kind of combating stretch marks. So she sent me some and I'm really appreciative. Thank you so much, Sonia. I really, really appreciate it. I've been using it every day, as you can tell, because you only use like a little squirt and you're supposed to use it two times a day. And I have been using it two times a day. I love this stuff. It really is kind of a dry oil, so you don't get that really greasy feeling or as soon as you put on your clothes it doesn't just seep through and, and shine through that you're wearing belly oil. I would highly recommend this for anybody who is looking for something to help them with their stretch marks and kind of moisturize their body. This stuff is amazing. It came in this like beautiful green box which I kept it because I was like this is so pretty I'm gonna put stuff in it so I'm most likely going to I don't know maybe put diapers in it and just line them up or something like that but I really loved this box. I know I'm such a nerd. I love the box. She also sent me this belly mask from Hatch Mama and I am super excited to try this. So this says that it's a stretch mark targeting sheet mask and I'm very excited to have like a little mini spa day. I think I might do the belly mask and do a face mask. I might even also do a hair mask just because I'm feeling it. So I think I might have a little mini spa day where I do a bunch of masks all at once and just chill out and relax and breathe and meditate. I will let you all know how much I like this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it just because I really love the oil. And going to their website, I loved all the clothes that they had as well. Speaking of the Hatch Mama clothes, Target right now just came out with a line. You know how they sometimes pair with designers? Well, they came out with a line, that the Hatch Mama line. And I, of course, ordered a couple of things. Normally, their dresses are around $300, which is just unfortunately out of my budget. Not to say that they're not super cute and probably worth it, but right now just with my baby being on the way, I'm really, I'm just trying to save as much money as I can. So when I got the notification from Target that they had paired with Hatch Mama, or is it Hatch? Hatch Mama? I'm just going to call it Hatch Mama, okay? So when they paired with them, they came out with a line for Target and they've got some really, really, really cute clothes. I'm obviously going to let you know how I like everything that comes in the mail, but I was going to wait for it to come out. It comes out on Saturday in stores and I had noticed that actually it was selling out really quickly, even online. So I didn't really want to wait until I got in the store and you can't really try clothes on right now in Target anyways. So I would have to bring them home to try them on. So I just figured I would order a couple of things. I got, oh, oh, the line is called the Nines by Hatch. Cause you know, when Target pairs with other brands, they usually have like a, a line name and it's called the Nines, nine months, obviously. So I decided to get this really cute, 
floral green dress. Really hoping that it fits. I'm hoping that it looks really cute because this is actually the dress that I would love to wear to my baby shower. I also got these pants. I love anything that's ponte, which is like a certain type of fabric. It's always going to be really thick. It looks really professional and it's never see-through. When I see that I'm shopping for clothes online and it says that it's this ponte material, I know it's going to be thick and kind of more on the professional side. And it's also not going to be see-through, which is essential when you are shopping <laughs> for clothes online. So when I saw that they came out with these pants, I had to at least try to get a pair, see how they fit. And then I also got this cotton three-quarter sleep striped maternity dress. It has cute little pockets on it and I'm just really excited to get these three things in the mail. There were these shorts that I really wanted. By the time I ordered it, which was yesterday, like Monday, so like a week before it comes out, it had already sold out online. So hopefully I can find those shorts in Target and be able to get myself a pair. I feel like with summer coming up, I really want a couple pair of shorts. I have two or three, but I want another, just one more pair and a pair of shorts that are not jean shorts as well that are maternity. So hopefully I can snag those this weekend when the line comes out in the stores, but we'll see. Or maybe they'll bring it back online and I can order a pair for myself, but for now they're sold out and I'm kind of bummed. But otherwise, I think the entire line is actually really cute. And for anybody who is looking for some maternity clothes that you know are going to be good quality, check out the Nines by Hatch for Target. Not sponsored at all, obviously, but I just want to let you all know that this is coming out and it's super cute. So go check it out if you can. Let's move on to food because you know I'm obsessed with food right now. <laughs> I have been in love with these Kind Bars. I know that they've been around for a while and you can buy them by the box, which I've been buying them by the box not individually. They're just delicious. They really help me whenever my stomach is rumbling and I've got a craving. I have been craving fruit in the middle of the night. I literally wake up around 2.30 or 3 and my stomach is just rumbling. So I get up, I have a piece of fruit, and if that's still not enough, then I go ahead and grab a kind bar and go back to bed. <laughs> it's really crazy to wake up and to have my stomach rumbling in the middle of the night, but I just think that when I eat dinner around seven or eight, by three in the morning, the baby's hungry again. <laughs> so, and I'm waking up and I'm wanting things like a banana or grapes or blueberries. Like I'm waking up and wanting fruit. So I do, I get up and I have a piece of fruit and if it's not enough, I have a kind bar. That, that's been kind of weird lately. Also, I have been loving this peanut butter by Laura Scudders. It's an old fashioned nutty peanut butter and it's it does separate, so it's got like the oil on the top, but that's because it doesn't have any preservatives or anything else in it. The ingredients are just peanuts and salt. This has been my favorite peanut butter and I have just been like waking up in the morning after <laughs> three o'clock in the morning around like seven or eight and wanting peanut butter sourdough bread. I think that this St. Louis sourdough is the best sourdough. It's sour. So, and not too, too sour, but also not, I feel like some doughs say that they're sourdough and they just taste like white bread. They're not even that sour. But this St. Louis sourdough is delicious, especially when you toast it up and put a little bit of this peanut butter on it. Oh my gosh, amazing. And then of course, I have another piece of fruit because I can't get enough fruit right now <laughs> during my pregnancy. It's it's the weirdest craving, but I love, I need my fruit right now. It's, it's weird. I'm taking vitamins as well, as you know. I actually switched over to the prenatal vitamins that I talked about in my last video, the ones that I showed you with my Flintstones one. I finished off my Flintstones vitamins and started having vitamins, but still, I, you know, in the morning for breakfast, I crave sourdough toast with peanut butter and a little bit of fruit. Got some good news. Well, good news for me. Um, the first trimester sleepies are over. So excited about that. My first trimester, I felt super tired all the time and it was like past exhaustion. It was just super, super tired to the point that I would need to take a nap all the time. <laughs> it felt like I would, I, you know, I would sleep like 10 hours at night 
and wake up and be up for a couple of hours and then have to go right back down. I was so, so tired my first trimester. It was only maybe a week to a week and a half ago. I had my first day <laughs> that I didn't have to take a nap. The first trimester sleepies is what I'm going to call it. I am, thank goodness I'm over that hump. I'm now able to actually go an entire day and not have to nap and not just feel incredibly exhausted. It's just really intense and I'm I normally don't even sleep eight hours a night. So for me to sleep 10 hours at night and then also have to sleep another two hours in the middle of the day was just insane. But luckily I've gotten over that and my body has kind of moved on from needing a nap. It was exhaustion like no other. It was, I, I was like, I have to lay down right now. I'm, I have to. And I was working for a company for a little bit while I had my first trimester and I would try to eat lunch really, really fast. So that way I could actually take like a 45 minute nap and then have to get back to work. And luckily I was working from home. So I was able to just lay on the couch and take my nap, but you know, I had to go back and clock in online and I, I would just try to sleep as much as I can. It was crazy, but luckily it's all over just the sleeping part at least. <laughs> I also found a bunch of really cute shirts from Goodwill. My friend Sarah and I went over and we were just looking at all the different shirts that they had and I found some really, really cute ones. So I wanna show you what I got. Oh, I also got a pair of gray pants that I'm just going to wear right now and show you. I got this from Costco. The pants were only $10 and all of the shirts, nothing was over, I think six or $7 for each of them. So let me show you what I got. Cue the music, let's have a little mini fashion show. So this is my baby bump so far. At 20, almost 21 weeks, it'll be 21 weeks tomorrow. And let me show you all the super cute shirts that I got. Uh -huh. Got these new pants on, so I'm sorry about the tag, but they fit really well. Got them for $10 from Costco. Here's my belly so far. Now let me show you what I picked up from Goodwill that was super cute. and you know, obviously a really great price. I just picked up this shirt, which is from Sonoma. This shirt is actually a maternity shirt and it's from Bisu Bisu. This one's actually one of my favorites. I love the detail at the front and it's so smooth and so soft. I just, I really love this shirt a lot. This shirt is from The Gap. It's not a maternity shirt, but it is an extra large, so it works for me. But I love Gap cotton tees, especially the V-necks. So, love this. This shirt is from White House Black Market. And I love the cutout for the shoulders. It's striped, so it really <laughs> accentuates my belly but it's still so soft. And for five or six dollars from Goodwill, especially it being a White House black market, I was like, we gotta get this one. So this shirt is from Torrid and I love the little button detail that it has. It also has a really cute tie in the back so I can make it a little tighter if I need to. It's also really long. So that's kind of nice. This cute shirt is from LuLaRoe. And I know that there's kind of, you know, some controversy behind it, but I did get it at Goodwill. So it just seemed like somebody was giving up all their LuLaRoe stuff. And this one actually came with the brand new tag still on it. So I love it. It's a cute little polka dot piece but it fits really well. It's so soft, like every LuLaRoe piece is, and really flowy and nice. So I love this one. Now this sweater is not from Goodwill. It's actually from JCPenney, but it was in the clearance section. And although it was marked at six, it rang up as three. And actually the next two sweaters that I'm gonna show you, same thing. Got them at JCPenney, found them in the clearance section, but when I took them up to get checked out, they actually rang up for $3. So check out my $3 sweaters from JCPenney. Here's the first one. Here's the next one.
and this one. And these ones are by St. John's Bay, which normally I think these are about $40, $45 for a sweater. And I got them each for $3 from JCPenney. So if you're at any department store, just check out their clearance section. And I love the detail on this sweater but I highly recommend to just check out the clearance. You never know what you can buy. And right now JCPenney does have their dressing rooms open so you can actually try things on and see if they fit, so. But I really, really like this sweater. It's super soft, it's not itchy, and it fits really well. Really like this little cable knit sweater. This sweater I actually got at Walmart and it was only a dollar in the clearance section. I think it's because we're starting to come into summer so a lot of sweaters are in the clearance section. But here in San Diego, although it's pretty mild during the day and it doesn't really get too cold, at night when the sun goes down, it gets chilly. So having sweaters is kind of essential. <laughs> I just got the extra large and it's fitting pretty well, but for a dollar, I was like, we need this. So thank you, Walmart. A dollar. Can you believe? I can't believe this was a dollar at Walmart. And this sweater was also in the clearance section at Walmart. It was $3. It is longer in the back. And I really like it. I think it fits really, really well. So. Not too bad for $3 from Walmart in the clearance section. So that's what I have bought so far, just as like some extra maternity clothes. Got it from Goodwill, JCPenney, and Walmart. And I didn't pay over 10, oh yeah, and my pants are from Costco, but I didn't pay more than $10 for anything. Actually, the most expensive thing were these pants for $10, <laughs> so. There are good deals out there, you can find them. You just have to keep your eyes open. Okay, so I've also been thinking about getting the COVID vaccine. I just, I know that it's kind of, I don't know if it's to say that it's dangerous or I don't know if I should say that it's just a little bit scary being pregnant and wanting to get the COVID vaccine. I would get it if I was not pregnant and I have read some articles that have said some really positive things about getting the vaccine while you're pregnant like or even breastfeeding. I've read things you can pass the antibodies onto your kid and that really helps them. I mean obviously if they can have the antibodies then they're protected as well. So I don't know if I should be getting the COVID vaccine. I want to. I am nervous about any kind of side effects that might affect the baby. But then again, I do also feel like it would be on the news or it would be reported somehow if it really had a negative effect on women who were pregnant or breastfeeding. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know most of you are not doctors, but I mean, I really want to get it. So I think I might get it soon. Oh, also I'm going to start selling real estate. I've had my license for a really long time. I've done marketing for many, many agents in real estate, but I just feel like right now, especially with how big I am, no regular company is going to hire me. Let's get real. They're not supposed to discriminate against you, but they're going to. I would love to be able to start my real estate journey as an agent. So I've decided to join a brokerage and I'm going to give it a try and I will let you all know how it goes. Hopefully I can start getting leads. I've already built my website. I've already got a new Instagram page. I'm just going to try it out. I think I'm with a really great brokerage. You know, real estate right now is really hot. If I can take on clients and use my knowledge with real estate to be able to help them on their journey, that would be amazing. So I'm going to start. Oh, let's see where I'm at right now too, according to this what to expect app. So right now it says that I am 20 weeks and six days. And it also says that my baby is as big as a beanie baby. So you can kind of imagine how big she is. I'm super excited about all of this, as I've said before. And apparently tomorrow, because I'm, you know, 20 weeks and six days. So tomorrow she's going to be as big as a Kool-Aid burst. 
and you can kind of choose what you what your baby size comparison is so you can choose like movie tv and props or even fruits and they'll tell you kind of how big your baby is just something exciting to think about so that's how it's going so far. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you're notified every single time I upload. It really makes a big difference for my channel, so thank you all so much. And it just means the world to me that you all are watching and going through this journey with me. So thank you so much. My name is Heather. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all soon. Bye!